Hello and welcome back to the Stellaris Guide. Now, as you can see, we are boxed in, and that usually brings a few problems. Now, we still have some unclaimed uh, territory in uh, within our space because there's no one else who can reach this without going to war with me. But what are the things that you want to be doing? Well, of course, you want to make sure that you are building up your fleet. Um, preparing a few armies because uh, you will need those in the uh, coming war. Now, don't go overboard just yet. There's six is more than enough with most most wars. Um, and I was thinking about perhaps starting to claim on this uh, minor nation, who is actually equivalent to us. Uh, these guys are just just a tiny tiny bit a bridge too far um, maybe once they start warring with uh, this empire over here it will do something about their fleet power and it is interesting for us to attack them because there are two potential habitable planets for us even though they are not the biggest uh, any planet is going to be a very nice asset towards you in preparation for this one now we only have 280 influence and I would like to claim Vega Uril Impal Tove and Saluria and the reason why I want to be doing that is there is a planet in here that which we can use and maybe I'll claim these two in as well uh, I don't really see a point other than a few minerals and energy. So we're just going to this region because I just don't want to be boxed in like this. My science ships are just... It is too early for you to be boxed in. So getting out of that situation is definitely something that you want to be... Um, going for let's go and send you over here actually no that's this will need to send in our construction ship who's over here so is there anything else that we can do let's check f2 there are some ruins that we definitely need to start doing um he is already over here doing the ruin i guess let's see yeah, um, it's not available yet, so he's not working it right now, but there's one over here as well. So let's send you towards this rune, excavate this site. How about you? Are you excavating this site? Excavate that site, excavating archaeological site, so he's doing that right now. We are going to be continuing to expand in uh, this region. Uh, once our fleet hits 30, I want to make sure that we are getting ready for war. Now, this fella over here, they did close their borders. And that means that he is going to be stuck. And eventually they will send in a construction ship and that will push him out. Also, by the looks of it, there is something in this guy's territory that he is unable to deal with at this moment in time. Unfortunately, we don't know what the um, the composition is of our neighbor's fleet, so we can't prepare our fleet for that. So, we got a lot of things to do. A lot of that. We found the United Nations of Earth. Oh, okay. That, that could be cool, you aliens. Scum. Yeah. Scum. There's the soul system. They are superior and equivalent. So we're near. We are nearly there. And by the looks of it, these guys are not doing too bad. They did take this uh, planet over here. By the looks of it, at least they are interested in it. What is it? It's a tomb world. It's human. So yeah, of course that would make these guys very interested in that. It doesn't look too good for the United Nation of Earth. Uh, well, not much of a problem then. Uh, this construction ship is just not doing anything. It's always um, a terrible mistake. Let's go and uh, research that. We are awaiting alloys. That is our biggest problem at the moment. But we just do not have the population. As you can see, we are having two available jobs over there. 
One over here and one over here. So it's going to be taking a tiny bit of a time for us to actually get that all going. Speaking of those, it is time to get into those excavating sites. And this might be something that you don't have, but it is the uh, the latest Ancient Relics storyline. So, oh, look at that. We are being insulted. Ooh, our mental network is fast. Giving us access to uh, the ideas from every corner of our empire. But not a single entity has ever seen anything that would lend merit to your tragic existence. That is a very good insult. I don't like the fact that they are starting to insult us. They are just boosting. They are now also hostile. They have not declared us rival. Now they don't need to. They don't need to. Hives devouring swarms can attack anyone. And that makes me very, very much afraid. Uh, because, uh, well, they have a larger fleet than we. And these guys are stronger than us. We are the ideal candidate for these guys to attack. And yeah, that, that absolutely scares me. That could make this series go, uh, well, not as long as I would love it to be. So we're going to be saving up. We're going to be getting more alloys. We're going to be boosting up our fleets. Uh, maybe get a Admiral in. Let's see if there's a good one. Evasion, leader cost. Wow, uh, I would not consider that a good one, actually. Is there a better, a better governor? Food from jobs. I, I would take you. There you go. Food from jobs. Let's press F4. This guy available. Now this is now plus 9. It should go up. Hopefully. Now apparently it didn't go up. Well that's a bit of a bummer. Oh well. What can you do huh? Maybe it is next month that he uh, springs into action. We are going to be firing. Maybe. Well. Add ability. Plus 25%, Grand Marshal, yeah, well, that's not many, many changes, unfortunately, but it's probably due to the fact that he hasn't leveled up. We are lacking housing, and we already knew that it was going to be a factor. Um, it is not a problem. We are just going to be building this uh, generator district some more. Can we do anything? Uh, you're going to be... Doing this uh, research job first. We still want to make sure that we get all of these systems under control before we expand. There's no need to expand if we are... Well, uh, as long as we have room to expand towards. I would not go and to um, extend your borders into an alien territory. Before doing anything else that you uh, have to do in your own space. So, he is going to get to the shipyard and we might we might get a um, a ship from that uh, that's this one a construction ship in orbit now it's done so 180 days we can still translate this i, I got a feeling this is actually increasing it was 66 now it is 97 has everything to do with the amount of research in comparison with your empire sprawl i guess but we're still lacking so Hmm, where is this Rubik? Can we see it? It is the... it is there. Okay, so we'll get to that. Uh, let's stop the tracking for now. There's a few things that we can do. And uh, these guys are excavating. Uh, we'll read through the uh, stories later. But as, like I said, this, this is not part of the, uh, the vanilla game. So, let's go. So, by holding shift... You can select all of your fleets, just merge them together, send them, so holding shift again and just sending them to Denbra, of, of, of Denep, will uh, ensure that most of these are heading towards there right now. Uh, why do we want to send them over here? Uh, this station, this, is having the crew quarters and all dock ships will get a less upkeep. It will also work on transport. Oh, the hives and uh, their neighbors are now at war. Mm. Oh, and they're superior. They are overwhelming. Now the hives have uh, are a bit nasty. Because the, the hive will have 
more in naval capacity. And they have ships that will fire a lot faster. Now, perhaps we could split them in half. That would be even better. But we got a new ship. We got a new ship out of the uh, out of the uh, space dock. Let's take a quick look. So, ship details. Uh, missiles, lasers, and point defense. This ship is by far the strongest that we are having right now. So let's send them towards uh, the space dock. Okay, what can we do now? Like I said, I don't want to go into this war just yet. We are going to be building an outpost over here. This science ship is still awaiting instruction. And we have... Uh, Advance the dig to chapter 1. Let's keep on digging. And it will count down. Uh, by the, once this is all done, we'll, uh, we'll read through it. Like I said, it's not part of the um, of the vanilla game. So I don't want to go overboard and, and just do too many things. Let's build a star boost over there. Let's get surveying speed under control. This will also... Um, increase the disengagement chance now the disengagement they in, bleh, the disengagement chance is whenever your ship is encountering a hostile this will increase the chances of it safely uh, going missing in action towards your own territory uh, increase that by 50% so it is quite nice Discovery is what we are going to be finishing right now, uh, mainly because of the uh, the level cap for scientists, the research station outpost, and the population working on research. Upkeep is reduced by 20, so that's why we want to be uh, finishing this. Also, research speed plus 10% when we finish this entire tradition. So that is actually quite nice. You are done. Build mining post. Build that station over there. Uh, these guys are also rivals by the looks of it right now. Let's take a quick look. Superior, superior. So naval combat has started. And by the looks of it, they are not doing well. They are not doing well. Uh, unfortunately, that, that's not going to be our problem for them they're not our friends so there's no need for us to do anything uh, let's investigate there you go mm. let's go and assign you to this home base Denip. and let's get you in there you my friends you are going to be following that fleet well, you can actually return there and it will actually cost me a tiny, tiny bit less. As you can see, it was red, now it's green. It will cost you less. There you go, S missing in action. It is this scientist that is now traveling back to our territory. It will pop back up and it would mean that we are now completely boxed in. These guys are actually winning the war. I don't really fancy that. They are superior. It is, uh, I think they might. They might be just one, one and a half thousand in terms of uh, of that uh, higher. Let's see, we wanted to create, well, we need unity on this planet. Um, however, we can do that later. What I lack the most right now is alloys. Let's create more alloys. Now that will create alloy jobs, but not the housing. So, by building this uh, city district, it will offset that a tiny, tiny bit. Three houses, one job, amenities are starting to lack. Is there is a decision that we could use? Well, we could transfer 400 um, consumer goods and increase the amenities by 25%. It will also increase the, admi uh, the immigration pool. Population speed would also be very nice if we would boost that. However, uh, looking at the grow, 0.51. Boosting the population growth speed by 25% is, is it's actually not going to be doing as much over here than on any of our other planets who are a colony. 
Um, but boosting this would be very nice. So I'm going to. There you go. More amenities are now available on this planet. Without having to us to do anything. Um, how long will it last? You can see it over here. It's about 10 years. So every 10 years you will you want to be saving this up. Let's keep on digging. Hopefully we'll get something nice. Let's uh, build that mining station. And we'll head over to uh, this territory. Actually but let's go to... Neat. There is something that we could do there, right? Or did that uh, already finish? The Rubik. No, it is actually over there. The last known location. So, yeah. As soon as we're there. We still need to survey this. You are having no orders. So, survey the system. Hopefully, we'll find something. Maybe, maybe a planet. planet would be very nice. It would be extremely nice. So the alloy foundry is almost done. And we, if I could get a glimpse. A non-aggression pack. So the hive actually uh, lost this war. And their empire is now split in, in two. I, I like that. Um, but looks of it. Are they allowed to keep this? No, they're still at war. But a non-aggression pack was signed. Oh, with United Federation. Okay, let's start digging over there with the Rubik. There is a planet in there. 24 tiles, which is amazing. Research deal. Oh, man, they are really starting to be friendly towards each other. Oh, well, good for them. Good for them. You are done. I want you to go here, move over there. We are, once again, going to be starting to make a colony ship. It is a relic world, which is um, not part... It is not part of the native game. It is, is once again of the Ancient Relics a DLC. Now there are a few things that are going to be different. Uh, what that is, is, is easier I believe to see once we actually got this old planet all done. Let's see. Uh, here you go. So with the tile blockers, which you can unlock by just spending um, energy, uh, you'll do a few other things. So max mining districts. Max generator districts, max um, generator districts. So we got a lot of generator districts here. But what is definitely interesting for us is um, crystal mines, gas wells, and um, volta modes. So this is definitely going to be a very nice refinery planet. But also this one. Society research from jobs plus 15%. Engineering and physics is about the same. So research and... Um, refinery planet could be incredibly incredibly nice uh, so I would like to prepare for that where is um, there you go my shipyard so let's start making a colony ship we want to get into that as soon as possible that's why I'm already sending him you have nine orders left hopefully there are a few very very nice um, Resources to be had. Commercial pack invitation. Is there something we can do? Now, you are equivalent. You're unfriendly. You do not like me due to my slavery and closed borders. Um, plus, negative 40, negative 30 we could actually deal with. Now, we don't have to do that right now. 130 is a bit too much. Uh, but the enemy of my uh, enemy is my friend, I guess. Uh, these guys are starting to build up. Superior, how about you? How are you liking me at the moment? So plus 15. Mm, commercial pack invitation is closed. But we still have two, two trade deals uh, remaining. There's no need to do another one. Just, just wait until these trade deals are cancelled. And we'll do another one while we're waiting for more ships. Let's do more ships. You are done. Can you go here? Yeah, we'll move you over there. We have new contact. The League of God. Don't tell me you're over there. You aliens come. No, you're over here, actually. A negative 50. Xenophobic bidget. We have a scientific breakthrough. New tile blockers. Now, let's take a quick look here. So, archaeological site finished. Good for you. Uh, the Gene Clinic. It will turn consumer goods into amenities and population growth speed 
it is actually quite nice this is a very nice building food processing facilities they will increase the amount of food that your farmers produce by 15 percent and it also says that you have a planet limit so you can only build this once per planet off world trading company produces two trade value for each trade hub so your trade hub is what we have on our shipyard i believe we have a, a, a trade hub here so we now have a collection range of two of one and it will generate us trade value by creating that off-world trading company every one that we have will generate two so if we were to have six normally it would create six and then it would create 12 but the collection rate is also increased it is doubled so instead of one it would also be collecting from briscoll and shimk over here so creating a station that is going to be your trade hub would actually be a very good idea especially once if you're having this trade value just just lying around not, not doing anything for you um also you're still uh, researching this one for order so you're going to be back building that you can you build a station just yet no we're lacking a few alloys which is fine but we're going for the gene clinics because that would benefit our population growth speed uh, this one is now finished oh boy oh okay let, let's go back to chapter can we go to chapter one? Oh, we can't well that, that's no problem it, it, it's no fun if i go and read all of that but we got a, um, a Empire modifier. Uh, it should be around here somewhere. Where can I find it again? Well, we got a plus 10 in... Uh, uh, what's the name? What's the name? Society Research. So that's quite nice. Let's just go to Fusion Reactor. Oh, that's quite nice. Uh, energy from technicians because we're, we're a bit low on the energy department. I don't like that. As you can see, our minerals are doing absolutely fantastic uh, let's close this one up um hull is going to be done hopefully new weapons will uh spring into action as well we could increase our ships just now but i don't well actually it would benefit our ships uh, at the moment we are running a type 1 deflector looking at our ship design we can now have a type 2 deflector so it definitely does do something for our ships uh, upgrading this is 104 alloys and uh, next tick I'm thinking about doing so uh, might as well get this out of the way uh, borders are closed excavation site was finished we already knew that that we're going to be sending that ship somewhere else now this is going to be upgrading to the latest design that can go away we should get rid of that icon as well it's been there the entire episode what else can we do? Now, there is another excavating site here in Andarmia. Let's go and send this fella over there. Whew. So, in this episode, we have been expanding our borders. We are going to be preparing more for war while we have an increased amount of alloys. That also means that we are going to be spending more in, uh, into uh, alloy producing buildings because it is quite important that you get this up as soon as uh, as possible there you go we got two trade deals who now have ended so that's going to be for um, for the next episode it ended because um yeah a broken trade deal they're negative six that will go away we'll make them a better one uh, these guys are going to love us uh, and we'll get towards the commercial pack and hopefully a migration treaty. But that's for next time. As for now, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.